Hello friends, welcome into another video. I'm Das Food, and today I want to talk about something that I had not planned to talk about, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, right? Sometimes life throws you curveballs. So I was just going through Twitter, which was a terrible mistake, but if you want to make that mistake with me at Dust Food Gaming, head on over. I post sometimes, sometimes it's fun. Uh, I saw something. I saw that DBD had another uh, satisfaction survey, right? They had put out another satisfaction survey, so I was like, cool, I'll take this, I'll let them know if I'm satisfied. And I had the weirdest thing happen, right? I was going through it and I was like, wow, I've got to make a video on this. I have got to cover this because usually satisfaction surveys are kind of dry. They're kind of boring. They don't really give you a lot to work with as a content creator and that's fine. That's not what they're here for. In fact, I would say it is my genuine hope that I don't end up covering the next few after this, but you know, hold me to it. I'm sure I will. I'm sure they'll put something just absolutely nutty in there and I'll have to talk about it. But anyway, neither here nor there. This one needs to be talked about because this one is terrifying. This one started out basic enough. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to bore you with the finer details of the parts that just weren't super relevant, you know, like, oh, how often do you think you run into toxicity? Or, hey, how much uh, would you recommend the game to someone else? What systems do you play on? You know, kind of the just checking boxes type thing. See, what I'm more concerned about is the issue of toxicity, which they did cover quite a few times. Uh, like I said, some of the things, not super notable. Hey, how many times have you, uh, you experienced toxicity playing DBD? <laughs> Once or twice. Uh, <laughs> that's not the issue. The issue is their proposed responses to toxicity, which are terrifying. Like, sincerely terrifying. I honestly, we're just gonna, I'm going to put these up on the screen. Let's get into them. Let's talk about these. So, uh, this was question 14. Please rank the following features in terms of how much they would reduce toxic behavior in Dead by Daylight in game. So, we have here, I've also ignore the numbers, uh, I was playing around with the numbers, drag and drop, uh, you know, this is not, this is not my official rankings of these, right? Uh, so some of these are far worse than others, right? I do think the ones that I have at 1 and 2 right now, uh, I, I think I turned those in with those being at 1 and 2, because they seem the least, uh, problematic. So, an improved report follow-up system, yeah. If you report someone for hacks, it would be really cool to log on and get like a little message. You know, a little carrier pigeon from Matthew Makote that says, Hey, that person who was running at 200% speed, yeah, they're banned. Don't worry. It, it, it did it. It did it. They're gone. Great. An improved in-game report system. I don't even know what this would look like because the report system is trash. I literally got reported by two of my teammates for streaming the game. Uh, so at this point, I don't think the report system means a whole lot. Uh, if if you're interested, I could make a whole video on that. It was the it was the weirdest salt I have ever come into contact with. Basically, two people spent an hour in my chat trying to convince me that I was toxic for streaming the game. Uh, I kid you not. You can't make these things up. So would an would an improved in-game report system really do anything? Yeah, maybe. The ability to endorse and reward other players for good behaviors with XP or blood points. Again, I'm fine with that. That's fine. Um, in fact, this was not the part that was so terrible as I look at it. I, I think I, a bit of a misfire here because all of these are fine. The ability to stay in a group of players you've been randomly matched with. Yeah, why not run it back? That sounds kind of fun. Even if one person leaves, you know... Um, I, I recall having really good times in Overwatch doing that where you, you have the stay as a team feature. I'm kind of surprised that's not in the game already. I think that's an easy, easy addition. I don't think anybody would have any issues with that. Um, let me skip ahead to question 16. This is the one that is terrifying. This is the big whopper. Which of the following features do you think would reduce toxicity? Nope, sorry. Toxic behaviors in Dead by Daylight. Chat specifically. Whew, okay, so listen to these. Listen to these doozies of ideas. Limiting the chat to preset responses, which I would imagine, GG, well played, fun game. <laughs> nobody's nobody's going to set it to, you know, uh, any of the mean options, you know, tunneler. <laughs> you, you couldn't say that. So th that's a terrible option. Next, 
The ability to endorse and reward other players for positive interactions in chat. We give them stickers for being good noodles. I mean, fine. There's no damage done. Uh, if anything, it would just lead to the hilarious inevitability that somebody would be like, you know what? I'm not giving you props for your post-game chat, which would be the worst threat in the history of threats. Uh, but again, mostly harmless. Limiting the chat to preset stickers. We really are infants in their eyes. They really do think we are just little babies. We're just little babies who can't even use words yet. I drew you this tiger because I could not express how to tell you that I think you're cool. But tigers are cool. And therefore, I finger painted a tiger. Enjoy. That's, that's what they're boiling this down to. What a ridiculous system. So dumb. So bad. No. <laughs> uh, keep the chat the same as it is now. No changes. Uh, yeah, I'd generally be fond of that. Just maybe, you know, loosen the current sensor. Um, I was mentioning in post-game chat probably two days ago now. Um, I guess probably three at the time you hear this that I was using pinky finger because I needed insta-downs for a tome. And the word down was censored. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, and then disabling the chat completely. Which, crazy, but I don't know if you know this. You can already do that. You can already turn off chat. You don't have to see it. It's still there, but you don't have to see it. You can just minimize that tab and you won't see it. So... To turn it off for everybody. Like, this is terrifying to me. This is such a bad precedent. This is the same company that didn't want to show people their MMR because they were afraid that they might get bummed out if they lose a game and their MMR goes down and they have to see that. They think we are babies. This is insane to me. I know I usually come out and I'm chill. And honestly, I try to say nice things about behavior. But this infantilization of the player base... I, I don't want to be dramatic. I don't want to go full Karen on this, but this is insulting. This is really, really insulting. And it is my sincere hope that this does not make it to the game. I mean, look, I, I don't I don't want to come off as some kind of tough guy. Ugh, feelings get hurt. Get over it. You know, but the thing is, there are already measures in place where if you don't want to see the post-game chat, you don't have to see the post-game chat. But a lot of people really enjoy that feature of the game. And to take it out because of, you know, a couple bad actors here and there, and I don't want to downplay it saying a couple, I would say that uh, one of the questions was, how many, uh, how frequently do you encounter toxicity? And I did choose every one to five games because, yeah, it happens. Whether it's a GGEZ, which is, you know, pretty, pretty benign, pretty harmless. I don't think anybody's ever lost sleep over a GGEZ. Or, you know, there's that one uh, Bubba player he plays with crossplay off, so he has the post-game chat, and he tells people all this crazy stuff about how he's going to flay them alive and then uh, burn them in boiling piss. And it's like, yeah, you know what? That guy's probably taking it a little far. That's that's not a great dude. Maybe he's maybe he's a bit of a problem. But see, that's where it's just like, okay, when you have reports of people taking it too far. Ban the people who take it too far, but don't take chat from all of us just because some people can't behave themselves. I mean, this is insane. This is as great an overreaction as you could possibly, possibly expect. Uh, this is everything that behavior gets roasted for is present in this player survey. So I just wanted to put this out there. I, I, I don't even really have, you know, usually I finish this up with a, what do you think? You're free to tell me, but you're not going to change my mind. I want the chat. I like the chat. And look, if you have popped over to the greatest Twitch streams on earth, DOS underscore food, in case you're curious, you would have seen, I'm not toxic. I don't flame people in post-game chat. In fact, if I'm in a swift with somebody and they flame in post-game chat, usually it's a one warning type thing. And then if they do it again, they're out. I'm not doing that again because I don't like contributing to that environment. But at no point has my response been, oh, well, I guess really what I should do is just get rid of chat altogether. No, I do what behavior should do. I get rid of the problematic chatter. I say, okay, you know what? You can't handle this. I'm not going to play with you. And I, I think that's really the, I, I think that's what they need to go for here. Uh, I do want to <laughs> close it with a funny thing that they did. Uh, question 24, 
put this up on the screen. Do you know someone who has stopped playing Dead by Daylight in the last six months? It is bold of them to assume that they need to leave a window as wide as six months. Because yes, I do know people who have played, uh, who have stopped playing in the last six months and the last five months and four months and three months. And there's no doubt, look, the game has seen a bleed. It's been a real bleed, but as I have said a few times, uh, that one doesn't really concern me because honestly, that's just Resident Evil spiked the player base to uh, unseen heights. It was always going to come back down to some extent. So should they be concerned that it's consistently bleeding like it is? Yeah, maybe, probably. I would say yes. <laughs> I went from maybe to probably to yes. But is it as big of a deal as it's been made out to be? No. I just think it's funny that they're like, hey, uh, hey, do, do, have you heard? Does... Does anyone not play the game anymore? Uh, I feel like it would have been even better if the follow-up question is like, and what have you done to get them to come back to DBD? Prove yourself, mortal. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then you'd be proud to know. Uh, anything else to share, let us know. I told them to add a pirate killer. Hopefully they see this and they say, oh my gosh, he's right. We'll add a pirate. Uh, but that's going to do it. That will be it for today's video. You know what? Uh, like I said, I don't think you're going to change my mind. If you'd like to have at it in the comments, let me know. But yeah, this one's terrifying. This is just absolutely chilling. The thought of only being able to answer in stickers. We can only message each other in stickers because we're little babies and babies don't know how to use their words. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, I've been Dust Food. Bye friends. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my 